Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. I got a great comment from uh, one of the reviews that was sent after I did the review of this DeWalt wet-dry vacuum. He said, okay, you did the dry, but show us how it works with wet. And I didn't do that, and I'm really sorry. So let's just take a look at this and uh, see how we can uh, vacuum up wet water. We can do it right now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to empty the dustbin, which I actually already did. And then I want to spend a minute and dis discuss this, vac this filter. This is actually a wet dry filter, a high efficiency filter, and it has a secondary filter as well. This can be removed also to be cleaned out, but then should be replaced to keep the motor intact. So this can be literally shaken off or washed off and it just fits with these three little tabs in these slots with a small turn clockwise to lock it uh, counterclockwise to unlock it all right let's do some vacuuming of some liquid some water and again this is a flapper valve that prevents anything from going the other way. It only comes into the dustbin area or the, the water container. Okay, let's fill our bucket up a little bit. This hose obviously can come out, which is going to make this much nicer. And we'll just turn it on and start suctioning water. how much water I suctioned up. Wow, full container. So it's sucking up that much water just like that. So I think this is going to be good. When we're done suctioning water, we need to dry it. So the filter needs to be removed. Dry this, air dry. And this could be either air dried or you can blow it out from the inside with compressed air. I'm probably just going to let this air dry. So again, I want to thank our viewers for their comments. And it was really a pretty nice and efficient way to do uh, wet vacuuming. It's not going to suction a large volume. The capacity of this is not huge. But if you need to clean up a mess here and there in the shop or whatever, this will work great. For a large volume, you need a full power shop vac, obviously. But this can help us out when we have just a small spill or we want to just clean up some liquid. And again, dry it out. You don't want it to mold. Dry out that secondary filter and the tube. And by the way, this tube, the whole tube can be removed like this and set to dry, which will open up this compartment and let this dry I think a little more efficiently so we'll leave it upside down this is this is wide open we could blow it out with compressed air also and then we're just going to leave the filter on its side because it'll get all that all that air to circulate in so thank you very much for watching um, comments please there are great click like it subscribe if you'd like I appreciate that and until we see you next time as always stay safe